Hi and welcome to the second of our video blogs. Um, today we are going again sticking with the same theme, looking at the importance of acknowledging an individual's blend in the attraction, engagement and retention of female talent. We mentioned in the last blog that we're going to be looking at current issues and uh, the, the subject matter that we're going to be looking at today is the importance of men in achieving gender diversity. Yeah, so Mel. I uh, recently read an article, um, and very rarely do I read an article which I pretty much agree with everything that they say, um, but I did with this one. And there, the, the idea being that um, for decades, uh, women have been designing and executing initiatives for supporting um, gender diversity in, in business. Um, but w within this article, they talk about um, gender diversity is not a women's issue. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a talent management issue and actually talent management isn't an HR issue, talent management is a leadership issue and then if we think about leaders, the majority of those leaders are men. Um, so going back to the original question, are men key in achieving gender diversity? To me it's a glaringly obvious great big yes. Um, so what, what, what is happening, why aren't these leaders talent managing uh, the female talent th through the business um, to achieve this gender diversity. So in this article, I mean there's lots more, but in, in, um, in this article it mentioned a few um, potential reasons. One, that women don't want it, which we know is ridi yeah. ridiculous. Uh, of course they do, that's why they, we're, we're sitting here now. Um, secondly, is that men don't believe that women have the right characteristics in order to lead. Um, which I don't agree with either. I think um, now men are a acutely aware of the, um, the strengths that women bring um, into business. Um, and thirdly, which is the one that I most agree with, is that uh, men don't know how to effectively talent manage women because historically, um, and this kind of feeds back into sort of the lean in, the Sheryl Sandberg's opinion, is that actually women should be more like men. Mm. And I, just, I, I fundamentally disagree with that. I think women should be treated as women and men should be treated as men. So, what, what, so the solution that I think is, is sitting there is how can men be, how can leaders be supported to um, effectively talent manage women through, through their... Um, their, their talent pipeline, if you like. What, what, what do you think of that well, article? I, I, I absolutely agree, um, like you, with the, the findings of that article. Um, I think the, the, the challenge um, that you have is forever moving away from that historical women burn your bras, have lots of networks, um, which quite frankly I think is fairly intimidating and and, and really hard for men to get their head around. Yeah. Um, so I, th I think more recently, women are finding it hard to get their head around yes, some of those events as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, I totally agree with you that, that women are women and should act and, and be who they are. Um, something a little bit more controversial on that topic, I think, is about the fact that women traditionally are the fixers, the problem solvers of an organisation. Um, men see themselves the, the strategists, the, the, the more strategic thinkers, but the actual women d actually doing the do. Um, and therefore, the more that women progress through the ranks of an organisation, surely that will leave a gap of the people fixing um, problems within an organisation. Oh, right, yeah. And that's something that I think should be considered. I also think CEOs recognise, and if you, you uh, re read a recent PwC report, CEOs, what's keeping them awake at night, it's the gaps in their talent um, and the need to retain women in their organisations. But then a CEO is so far away, surely, from the grassroots of their organisation and how that talent is captured and nurtured and, and encouraged and managed through their leaders. Um, so I, I'm yet to see an organisation bold enough to put leadership on the menu rather than performance management, but true leadership of the, the, the gender piece um, as a part of the solution. So what, what would that look like? Um, coaching and development of those, those individuals. Um, 
and recognising the differences between men and women yeah. and the balance that you need to have and how you treat both of those individuals. I think the reason that this article resonated with me so much is because of the importance of blend in this. So, you know, we, we always talk about blend, we've always talk, um, spoken about blend in relation to high achieving working mothers, but actually everybody has yes. a blend. Yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, put it on the, the agenda with the leadership mm. is the fact acknowledging blend yeah. right across the business. So whether you're a junior level female or a senior man, mm -hmm. then, you know, everybody has it and everyone in between has a blend. So by acknowledging the differences in people, acknowledging what their blend would look like and what needs to be addressed in order for mm. them to pro progress in their career would be a really obvious way of supporting the talent management. Do you yes. Think? And I, th I think as well, what started out is something specifically to give women a voice, understand the solutions that businesses could put in place, actually led on to you know, I had a, a, a guy who works with us who's got three children. Um, when he first saw, um, he's, he's a, a manager in the business, but when he first saw the report and the findings, he actually said to, to me, I don't actually feel this is necessarily t totally generated, you know, directed at women. Yeah, yeah. He said, there's things here that I could absolutely use. And I recognise, he said to me, I recognise that my blend is not, where it needs to be in order for me to progress my career. Absolutely. Everybody that I've spoken to about Blend, whether it be a business that I'm talking to about integrating it into the business or whether it be socially, everybody wants to do their Blend. Everybody has a Blend. Everyone yeah. loves the, um, the concept of Blend. So, okay, so if we go back to the original question then um, about uh, are men key in achieving gender diversity, what, what kind of... Um, they are that mm -hmm. they're, they're, yes. they're absolutely fundamental in it so if we if we have we, we're aware of um the importance of men we're aware of the talent management issue and we're and we have a solution if you like in the form of blend how can we marry all of that up what what um how could that work in a business environment do you think so i think probably i would take us back to the research and the findings because the whole point of this was to give the women the voice but equally to recognise that the key finding, which is leadership, is absolutely key. And I, I found the research in part really humbling because what women were asking for was really quite basic. Yeah. But and I believe if you had a group of leaders here today, when I tell you what, what the high achieving working mothers wanted from a leader, I think they'd probably say we do do that but we know that they don't. Well, so it's challenging that. The CEO should be challenging that Yeah. because I don't believe it's happening. Or well, interesting, they might, do, they might do some of this, but as a blanket approach and not treat that individual, individual as individual. Yeah. So the things I like, so first and foremost, it's listening to them, valuing them. And, I, and again, this is where it's not gender specific because anybody wants that in their workplace. And the, these, were the, these were the solutions that... So this is what a high achieving working mother needed from a supportive leader. Right. So openly discusses my blend, listens to me, values me, trusts me to do my job, asks me what I need, helps me manage my workload, supports an effective workload distribution across my team and understands my home life responsibilities. And that was critical. One of the examples that we had when we launched the survey was from um, uh, the, the personnel director from Waitrose who said her boss so got when she needed to leave if she was in a meeting, he would tap on the door and tell her she needed to go home yeah. and carry on the conversation that they were having on the phone on the, when she was driving home. Yeah, the, the difference that that would make in, in re relation to engagement. Yeah. yeah, it's incredible and how valued that individual. You know, that, that by far will come out as the best boss she's probably ever had. Yeah, um, I think she did actually say that. Didn't yeah, <laughs> and talks to me about my home life gives me regular feedback, conducts regular one-to-ones, set out clear career plans with me. So encourages me in promotion opportunities. So sees the person as an individual, not their circumstance in their, in their life. See, it's interesting your point then about if you, if you had a group of leaders, they'd probably say they all did this. Mm. When you're saying that, there's this kind of degree of authenticity that's coming out. Like, I mean, I know I was involved in this research, but I can really feel every word that you're saying there was when you talk about career planning and performance reviews and and as like a blanket it has a very different vibe about it doesn't it a very different dynamic about it so how, what's the different how can we so i think some of that is generic hr stuff rather than a leader intuitively naturally wanting to support 
their their team in that way. So what else underpinning that then is a communi is is the communication and about it being a un unique to that person's blend. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that's good leadership. Yeah. So um, so going back to uh, the point that we were looking at that. Um, leaders need more support in order to effectively talent manage their women. Actually, a key solution of that is blend and applying leadership, a leadership job description of um, talent managing people and blend, linking blend together to make it more of an authentic process. Yeah, brilliant. I hope you enjoyed uh, our second vlog um, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.